Good afternoon and thank you so much for having us join you in this very important mobilization. First of all, uh, my name is Connie Sorio and I'm a staff person at Kairos and I'm also originally from the Philippines. Um, first of all, I would like to read a statement from the Alianza Tigal Mina, a coalition of about 160 anti-mining organizations in the Philippines. Um, the statement reads, Filipino indigenous farming communities unite, demand justice for mining impacts of Oceana Gold's copper mine, continue to say no to mining. Alianza Tigil Mina, a coalition of more than 100 organizations that is challenging the current policy regime on mining in the country. The alliance aims to shift the policy framework on extracting minerals in the Philippines from simply extracting and profiting from mining minerals to mineral management towards national industrialization. We believe there is a need to repeal the Mining Act of 1995 and enact the Philippines Minerals Resources Act and put a, mor a moratorium on all mining operations in the country. ATM voices out the strong opposition of mining affected communities in Nueva Vizcaya whose lives and resources of livelihoods continue to be threatened by the presence of Oceana Gold's subsidiary Oceana Gold Philippines Incorporated mining operations. An open pit mine and underground mine forecasted to produce around 100,000 ounces of gold and 14,000 tons of copper every year over uh, an expected 16-year mine life. Now, despite opposition and calls to close down the mine and rehabilitate the lands, Oceanic Gold Philippines, in connivance with the Philippine government, is expanding and has renewed its exploration permit for another expansion. The DPU Earth Savers Multipurpose Association said before and continue to say now, our land, our life, no to mining. We reaffirm our stand against Oceanic Gold and we want them to pull out from our lands. After the Philippine Commission on Human Rights found Oceanic Gold causing the violation of the right to adequate housing and property rights, the right to freedom of movement, the right not to be subjected to arbitrary interference, the right to security of persons, and the right of the indigenous community to manifest their culture and identity, now they violate our right to a healthy and safe environment and livelihoods. We want justice, and one step to that is if Oceanic Gold stops mining and starts rehabilitating what they've destroyed. We cannot allow mining to expand to our lands and to continue because it destroys our so sources of living and our ways of life. Mining should be stopped or else we Ifugaos and other indigenous communities here will cease to survive and exist. Uh, one of the organization mentioned. Before the mine started, the Philippine Commission on Human Rights Resolution number 8-2011-004 recommended that Oceanic Gold pulls out from the province because of the string of human rights violations and abuses caused by its entry. After the evictions and other forms of human rights violations, and bribing and disregarding people's voices, Oceana Gold went on commercial production by April 2013. Two years after, environmental impacts from the mine already hit the waters and downstream farmlands. To date, concerns on the human rights violations and abuses and environmental impacts have not been heard or addressed. It is undeniable that the day-to-day -day operations and use of explosives had caused the de deforestation, slope destabilization, erosion, crop drumages, water and air pollution in the area. Oceanic Gold, the people behind it, whose pockets and economies greatly benefit from the plunder of our resources, should listen to the voice of the mining affected communities and give the justice that they owe. ATM echoes the demand of Nova Vizcaya, Nueva Vizcayanos 
Oceanic Gold, stop mining in Casibo, Nueva Vizcaya. End your operations in the Philippines. Um, in July, last July 2015, a group of uh, participants of the International People's Conference that was held in the Philippines last year, including a representative from El Salvador, went to visit the, the, the affected community in Nueva Vizcaya. From that visit, we heard from the members of the communities, particularly the women, the health impacts that the gold or the operation has caused them. Many of the pregnant women have lost their babies. They went through miscarriages because of the blasting and the noise pollution caused by you know, the open pit operation. Um, the blastings and dynamite uh, blastings you know, was, were done seven, uh, seven days, 24, 24 hours um, every, every time. Um, children have started to have or suffer from respiratory illnesses and skin problems. The people in Nueva Vizcaya, in the DPO, want Oceanic Gold out of their community. Oceanic Gold out of Nueva Vizcaya and out of El Salvador. We cannot, you know, um, accept the fact that the people who are going to the AGM right now and going to that hotel are, talking, are going to be talking about profits and dividends but they are not concerned about the impacts of their mining operations in those countries, particularly in indigenous communities. We want Oceana Gold out. We want Oceana Gold out. Thank you so much.